Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I am Surbhi Sardana and this is season 3 of our daily answer writing initiative. This initiative is running in coordination with our website. Write the answer to the question that we are about to discuss regarding NAVIC or IRNSS system. Go through this entire video, go to our website after this video watching. The link is there in the description. In the comment section under the question that we are discussing today. So there you can upload images of your answers or you can type your answers and our team will evaluate your answers in the next 48 hours and they will give you their descri descriptive feedback entirely free of cost. So that's how we make you practice answer writing. That's how we ensure that you succeed and you do not miss out on any parts of the preparation. The topic for today is navigation with Indian constellation or NAVIC. This topic was taken in detail in our weekly current affairs session for science and tech and environment. The video is available on the channel if you are not aware what uh, about what NAVIC is. So the question is that recently ISRO announced to expand navigation with Indian constellation or NAVIC by widening its user based location system full stop uh, highlight the main features of navic what are the possible benefits of increasing navic usage for india answer in 250 words so this part is your statement this could have been uh, you know this is not the question part but this is this has been given to you to make it to justify it to you that the question has been from current affairs it has been in context of what is happening in the environment around you so highlight the main features of now a very simple static portion has static part say question I have and what are the possible benefits of increasing Navic usage for India possible benefits may kya cheese aap discuss kar sakte ki agar Navic global ho jata hai usse kya benefits honge India ko so since in the introduction you have to highlight the main features but before that we will talk about NAVIC that why was NAVIC created and what is NAVIC first of all. So uh, let's move on. The first part of our answers are always introductions to them. So the need for this indigenous navigation system was felt uh, after the Kargil war. Kargil war ke baad jo Kargil review committee bani thi unhone recommend kiya tha that India should have a have its own indigenous navigation system because GPS services are available nahi ki gai thi and that was a very crucial time the Kargil war uh, time that was very crucial so the need for indigenous navigation system on par with GPS was felt soon after the Kargil conflict when India desperately needed services of satellite based navigation system but did not have one of its own so here you have talked about its need or historical significance that why this technological development has come up. GPS is functioning very well in our phones, but why are we coming up with NAVIC and now why are we expanding it? So the IRNSS uh, or NAVIC is independent satellite based regional system developed indigenously by India on par with US based uh, US based GPS, Russia's GLONASS and Galileo that has been developed by Europe. So this is our own indigenous system. The following are the important features of NAVIC. So let's see what are the features. First of all, when you're talking about some satellite based navigation, talk about where are the satellites placed. So NAVIC is a constellation of seven satellites out of which four are in geosynchronous orbit and three are in geostationary. This has been asked by uh, UPSC civil services examination. It, uh, it was seen in around uh, 2018 exam and uh, in the prelims itself. So this is a very important uh, point. Next, you've told about the satellites, where are they based, you've told about how many satellites are there, orbits, everything has been explained in the first point itself using very small amount of words. This will provide standard service for civilian use and encrypted or restricted surface for authorized users, for example, military. Moreover, it helps not just in land navigation, but also in marine and aerial navigation that is 1500 kilometer beyond Indian borders. So this is also a feature of NAVIC. Next is it offers wide services like terrestrial and marine navigation, disaster management is there, disaster warning is there if there are fishermen in the deep sea. So warning can be issued to them if a cyclone is coming up and uh, the agencies want them to go back to land. So such warnings can be uh, given to them, vehicle tracking can happen, Ve fleet management, visual and voice navigation for drivers. So these are all the latest and best features that are available in any navigation system around the globe and hence for NAVIC as well. So it aims for better than 10 meters accuracy throughout Indian landmass and 20 meters in the Indian Ocean. 
timing would be better than 50 nanoseconds so if you can remember this technical stuff the last two lines very good otherwise at least till point number three this is very important now towards the end of our features we'll also write some of the some of the problems or some of the issues that are there we will not talk about issues separately but we will highlight them in the features itself so uh, current usage has been limited for public vehicle and commercial vehicles tracking navig base trackers are there emergency warnings alerts to fishermen navigating into the deep sea without adequate ter terrestrial network connectivity so unko one way messages ja sakte hain tracking and providing information related to natural disasters in the seventh point, we'll talk about that though Navik is available for use in mainland India and 1500 kilometer beyond borders, it isn't in wide regular use in India because our mobile phones or our devices for uh, navigation services, they do not have Navik chips or they do not come, uh, come with Navik enabled software. So that is a problem that our phones are not compatible to process navic signals so now from here we'll move on that how it will help india if navic goes global so the possible benefits can be self-reliance obviously self-reliance will happen because uh, make in india will get a boost it will remove dependence on foreign satellite systems for example your gps system that is currently working in all our devices especially for strategic sectors for example there are some sectors associated with defense nuclear science space sectors especially for strategic sectors india will attain self-reliance if navic is expanded and even now we have attained self-sufficiency in terms of or self-reliance in terms of strategic sectors this will further the goal of atmanirbhar bharat and vocal for local if people in the country are motivated enough that they should buy phones which have uh, you know compatibility with the navic system then yes people will be motivated to buy such phones and vocal for local will increase third is indian control and risk aversion reliance on gps created problem for us now that won't be the problem it is because this is an indigenous positioning system there is no risk of withdrawal of services in similar situations koi bhi services withdraw nahi ki ja sakti and yes there will be promotion to local industry more employment will be generated skilled people skilled manpower will stay back in india because they will have jobs to look up to they can do that in the strategic sectors and the highly skilled sectors that Navik will create jobs in. Fifth and finally, what you can do and write in your conclusion is that it will uh, establish India's position strongly as a spacefaring nation or a very good technological power. So to make Navik truly global like GPS, more satellites would need to be placed in an orbit closer to Earth than the current constellation. Yes, that is a way forward that is required but also it can serve to increase india's reputation as a competing nation in terms of technology that has such indigenous strategic systems operational so here is your way forward and one line for con conclusion that has been combined combined since in this uh, last para we said that you know compatibility with phones is not there also to make it uh, more global more satellites will have to be launched especially in medium earth orbits aapke geo orbits se jo niche orbits aate hain unme aur satellites hame bhejni so after giving this way forward or suggestion or whatever ISRO is planning, you've given a positive, positive uh, reflection of the reputation of the country. So yes, this is your full answer for today. The entire answer will be uploaded on our website tomorrow. Go through mains answer writing section on our website. Almost 104 discussions, almost 104 question answers from current affairs have been covered. So if you want to target mains for next year or for any state public service commission, do check our website do che uh, do check out the mains answer writing section there because it will help you immensely improve your answer writing skills i'll see you tomorrow and all the best for your preparation